good evening to all in this video let us discuss on uh, a case study on pascal's law so pascal's law states that the pressure to an enclosed fluid which means uh, inside a, when a, when a fluid is play, uh, filled in a container so what will happen is the pressure applied to a fluid inside a container will be transmitted without a change in magnitude to every point of the fluid and uh, to the walls of the container so yeah, what is the actual meaning is the pressure at any point of the fluid inside the container will be uh, same equal in magnitude this is what uh, pascal's law states so uh, according to the pascal's law uh, the pressure applied remains undiminished and it is equally distributed in all directions throughout the liquid so hydraulic uh, machines such as hydraulic press, hydraulic brakes, hydraulic uh, jacks uh, are some of the uh, examples of Pascal's law. Uh, printing machine, pressing machine or the day-to-day -day, um, applications of Pascal's law. So why is Pascal's law important? So first uh, we should know that uh, um, the change in pressure uh, determines the uh, property of the fluid. Uh, and which where the temperature is also considered. So what actually works on Pascal's law is the magnitude of the pressure within the fluid is equal in all the parts. Uh, so we use this principle in hydraulic lift applications where a force applied on a smaller cylinder is uh, transmitted to lift very high heavy loads using larger cylinder. So who is the father of Pascal's law? Uh, let us see uh, one by one. So, Pascal's law, as we discussed now, it uh, states the thing like a pressure applied to an enclosed liquid is transmitted equally to every part of the liquid in the container. And uh, see, this is a small uh, pictorial representation wherein uh, the pressure is transmitted by the liquid and the pressure applied to a small piston. So, see here, it is even though the piston size of uh, the piston is uh, small, the pressure force applied is equally distributed in, into the fluid. So, who is the father of uh, Pascal's law? Uh, Blasey Pascal, a French mathematician, uh, physicist, inventor and writer. Uh, he was born in 1623 and... Uh, uh, till 1662 he lived and he is the uh, father of Pascal's law and he is the one who found this particular concept. So he studied the fluid pressure in 1600 and especially the thought and the um, uh, in invention in this aspect uh, happened into his mind when he pressed a closed bottle. Okay, So this is how uh, Pascal's law came into existence and uh, this is uh, the other pictorial representation. Pressure applied to any part of an enclosed fluid is transmitted undiminished to every point of the fluid and to the walls of the container. So here uh, what we can see is the uh, equation or the formula for calculating this particular pressure is force by area. So the ratio of uh, uh, force to the area in which the fluid is uh, filled this determines the pressure force so these are all the uh, applications of uh, pascal's law uh, a few applications that is uh, um, hydraulic lift hydraulic jacks hydraulic brakes hydraulic pumps so these are all the images related to these applications so this is a hydraulic lift wherein the hydraulic lift is used in uh, four wheeler automobile sectors for servicing the vehicles so here inside this the hydraulic uh, lift uh, hydraulic fluid will be there and uh, original force applied is like this so it will compress the fluid and here it will uh, rise and uh, it will uh, lift the uh, object or the vehicle which is placed here so the second force is 10 times the original force so Pascal's law is very uh, applicable in hydraulic system. So see here, uh, force is applied to the piston, and uh, both the piston, both the tubes and the piston are equal area. So force by area is equal to pressure, which is equal to force by area on the left and right side. So the force is transmitted through the fluid, which is shown in green color, to the other piston. So this is another example for uh, Pascal's law in hydraulic system. See here, 
uh, here in this first system A, both the diameters, both dimensions are equal. But in the system B, the uh, inlet uh, diameter is uh, smaller and the outlet diameter is uh, larger. That is, the area is different here. Even then, the force on the larger piston is multiplied. This is the property and nature of the Pascal's law. So, this is another uh, application of uh, Pascal's law that is hydraulic elevator. So, the concept of an elevator is incredibly simple. It's just a compartment attached to a lifting system. See here, attached to the lifting system. So, we have to tie a piece of rope to a box and uh, we have got a basic elevator. So, they need advanced mechanical systems to handle the substantial weight of the elevator car and its cargo. So, this is, a sim this is uh, explained and given in a simple form, but nowadays uh, many uh, latest uh, technological aspects have been incorporated in the hydraulic elevator. So, there are many, many types of elevators, but all the elevators are working with the help of a hydraulic fluid and uh, under the Pascal's law principle. So, these are all some of the examples and images of uh, Pascal's law application. So, transmission of pressure in a liquid, hydraulic brakes and hydraulic jacks. So, this is how Pascal's law works. So, let us see uh, the, another case study in our next video. Thanks a lot for watching.